Hi, here at Bedham TV, we often talk about AFTAL, A-F-T-A-L. You wonder, what is AFTAL? AFTAL is a very established, very respected autograph trade dealers association. But when you see that name, you know that that means that everything we bring you comes with the utmost top provenance. You'll get a certificate of authenticity, you get a lifetime guarantee, and you can buy safe in the knowledge that with that AFTAL name and the items we bring you, get the real thing. Well, great to be with you today. It's Debbie Jones back with my old mate Gaz. How, How are you doing, doing babe? Oh, Gorgeous as ever. Lo lovely you, to see you. You always look sparkling in yellow. You know? oh, <laughs> that's I could always what? eat a banana. I could <laughs> eat as well. You know, that's another story. Oh, I was sorry. Say. <laughs> settle down, boys. Settle down. <laughs> yeah. But we've got a cracking hour for you here. We've got uh, an hour of collectibles. And I've obviously had a look at all these fantastic things you've brought in. And there's certain things that I didn't believe were true, which are true about <laughs> signatures and all sorts of things yeah. to go, oh, is that a real signature from Princess Diana? Is it a real signature from Queen Victoria? I couldn't believe it. Wait until you see what we've got. So what are we starting off with, Gary? Well, it's amazing. We're starting with something that's very affordable, really, because mm -hmm. you try to have something for everybody. This particular one is, um, is the Queen Mother. It's, um, it's a, an in memoriam framed commemorative stamp sheetlet. It's actually a limited edition. There it is, yeah. of uh, just a thousand. But I think it's a great one, really, because each one of those at the bottom, they're, they're actual genuine British postage stamps from yes. Royal Mail. Yeah. And they're over the years, they're different images. But they're different images of her, obviously, through her childhood and her life, yes. a young lady, taking her up to the more the recent. So you've got um, those four genuine uh, actual postage stamps there, made into the larger sort of montage image of her as we all know her. I love that and, one of yeah. her by the way and it was produced yes. in honour of her 90th birthday oh, so lovely. it's an officially licensed and endorsed item yeah. if you like for the Queen Mother but very very affordable and I think it's a great one to just put on your wall and hang it out or maybe if you're buying a gift for someone you know your aunt oh, your uncle anybody, whoever your grandmother mom, or, they love something oh, like that they absolutely do it my mum was uh, 93 on St Patrick's Day this year and I tell you what, she absolutely adored the Queen Mother. Yeah. Adored her. Um, as she loves the Queen, you know, it's sure. from their generation. And that particular photograph of the Queen Mother, I think, epitomises her. I always mm. think of her as being dressed in baby blue with a lovely big hat. And there she is. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a really iconic photograph, isn't yeah. it? Oh, but she's a, lovely. It's a great item, as I say. It's a, and there's only a 1,000 of them ever produced in the whole world. Good grief. So the one you get is individually numbered. So if you buy that, you'll be actually the only person in the world who will own that number. That is brilliant. And, and once they've gone, that's it. And there's very, 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 very few of these. We have nowhere near a 1,000. It's just a handful that are left. Once they're gone, never to be seen again. And go on. Hit us with the price for anyone that's well, not it, watching. It's the a great, great price. price, isn't it? It really is. Eighteen pounds and ninety-five. Framed and mounted. Just hang it on your wall. And that is it. unbelievable. I mean, obviously mm. there's P and P as well, but I tell you what, all the details are on the screen. I think that for under twenty pounds for that with yeah. the real postage stamps, a beautiful picture of the Queen Mother, who is who is just. Iconic. I, I used to go out with someone, you know, who was, they called them a red, a red cap. Oh, right. Is that right? Yeah, he was yeah. in the military police. Yeah. And he actually looked looked after the Queen Mother for a oh, little really? while. Oh, yeah. used to sort of make sure she got out of the, the car properly. And she she did used to love a G&T. Oh, yeah. They or used six, to the race, actually. <laughs> she did. Absolutely loved he it. He meant to get a secret. Don't oh, don't no. Don't he secret. said she was lovely. He said yeah. she was very, very approachable. And another little bit of daft information about the Queen Mother. I stroked her corgis and her meta. <laughs> I did. <laughs> really? I, yeah, I went to the palace wow. uh, oh, many years ago. I can't even remember why. I wasn't madly important, but we, we all had to stand in two rows right down this, this long hall. And she came in. But we knew it was her because we could hear the corgis barking. And mm. the corgis came racing towards me because I like dogs. I don't know whether, you know, yeah. I had one at the time. I don't know whether they thought, oh, someone. I hope it wasn't because of that. Yeah. <laughs> Flung itself on its back in front of me. So I sort of did a little bob and 
stroke the corgi. It was great. But that's fabulous, Gary. Yeah, Can't it believe is. It. 1895. It's a stunning item. We've tried to bring a, a really diverse range of rarity. Some are so rare and exclusive, almost one of items. Yeah. And then others we've got, you know, where obviously there are more than one. But really, from every price bracket, there's something there for you. And the great thing about these, I always say, in this sort of show, it's particularly, maybe you've got friends and relatives live abroad, you oh, know, expats, yes. anyone like that. They make fabulous gifts because you're, you're you're buying them so they can probably never ever forget aren't yeah, they they'll absolutely. never get it and they'll never forget that and you it's bought a them little it. bit of britain and when you consider mm. you and i and our lovely partners by the way i don't want to i want to squash this gossip where it started we oh, yeah. were all over in gibraltar yeah. little britain uh, yeah. last year and it was fab and that to me is a piece mm. of absolutely wonderful Little Britain, and it's all real, it's all original, mm. and it's one of only a thousand. Yeah, it's, it's a great buy, it really is. If you know someone, you will know someone who would love that, and please don't even hesitate because so there's very, very few of them left. And once they're gone, that is it. Yeah. Never ever will you be able to see that again because mm. once the limited edition, the amount of a thousand has been has sold out, yeah. that is it. They don't suddenly recreate it, no. that is it. No. So it's a great item, and I say very, very affordable. It's it wonderful. really is. And don't forget, they are the real, the genuine, the actual stamps. Mm. They're not copy stamps, they're the real stamps showing our lovely Queen Mother as she was throughout her life. That's right. And then as you move on to this next item, the uh, 300, 344, this sort of measures and honours the Queen, you know, Queen Elizabeth II, current mm. Queen, as, of course, her longest reign, the longest reigning monarch ever. That's so right. So this was produced in honour of that. So it's actually, um, again, it, you call it a framed celebration stamp sheetlet there. And once again, this is a limited edition of only a 1,000 in the world. World. And as, um, as we can see Stu Pan in there across those images, if we can just stop maybe for a moment somewhere there, you'll see each one of those images is an actual photographic image of the Queen through her life. Oh. And it's actually been reproduced um, onto a genuine Great Britain postage stamp. Yes. And they've actually put the red seal at the side to make it look more official. It's beautiful. But if you actually was to perforate each one of those with the seal, you could take that off. You wouldn't do it because it's been made as a, no, as a no, souvenir no. item, as a commemorative item. But each one of those is an individual, genuine Great Britain postage stamp. Yeah. But it's been made, obviously, as a montage for a great, as a collector's piece. And again, each one of them's individually numbered. There's only a 1,000 in the world. I that's absolutely wonderful so, and again an amazing price 44.99 which is it's absolutely brilliant mm. and it's funny i did collect stamps when i was when i was a kid because yeah. we all did in my generation you all had a you know yeah and you buy a packet of stamps from the stamp shop for about you know sixpence or something ridiculous yeah. and they were worth nothing never found that penny black no but these are absolutely beautiful they're genuine and it's not just that if you love if you are a royalist if you collect royalty related um things like you know anything from photographs to mugs to what have you this is lovely and what i love about these gary again my mum she's got oh gosh we've got mugs all over the flipping house yeah. but this is much better because it it doesn't clutter your house because it's on the wall mm. and it just reminds you of what a what a trooper the queen is you know? that's right and, it, and traditionally as time wears on and the demand <coughs> exceeds the availability yeah because this is something so significant uh, as the queen you know and the, that this is a piece that's been produced where she became at this period the longest reigning monarch yes. ever as a royalty collector that becomes far more important than if say celebrated her 80th year or yes. the second reign yeah. yeah. it's like you know the coronation it's a significant yeah. event so as royalty collectors worldwide would go looking for royalty pieces this falls into that sort of category yeah. it's something very different very unique and very special because of what it represents and very very affordable oh it's a lovely and and here's me I, i'm the sort of woman if i find a lovely pair of shoes and they fit me i'll buy them in i'll always buy them in nude and i'll buy them in black and if they've got a really gorgeous red i'll buy them in red as well why don't you do the same with the first two items because when you think about it how affordable is this it's under what is it 45 55 60, well under under 65 pounds mm. for mother 
and daughter. Mm. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Under £65, you could have them either side of the fireplace together on the wall. It is a beautiful, beautiful way of remembering um, just how much the royal family do for Britain, you know, yeah, people come it, and visit them. I mean, that's oh, right. It mad is, outside that palace, guy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is really, really special. But yeah, do have a think about that because it, it remembers only a thousand in the entire world. Of each so of the them, one that it. you get, remember, is the only one that exists. You're the only person who will have that number. And once they're gone, kaput, never mm. to be seen again. Hey, wouldn't it be great if you're frantically telephoning us now or? Or, or getting in touch with us via the, the, the website or whatever. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if you got number one? Or number yeah, a thousand? Yeah, you won't get that. Yeah, no. you won't get that. No, I'm all there, are you? I might know it's got them, but no, no, we don't. It's actually pot luck on the number. It is, I know, it is, yeah. I know. Do have a check, actually, while you're on about that, that website, though, www.benham.tv, yeah. which obviously is the website for, the, for, for Benham. Many of you will know the traditional name of Benham, been going for over 50 years, and they are synonymous with really fantastic sort of stamp coins and traditional sort of yeah. collectibles like that but alongside them they have really expanded tremendously over the last few years into a much broader range of collectibles and memorabilia yeah. so when you're looking for autographs old documents original items limited editions music tv film whatever it is do have a little look on that website yeah. because there's almost something for everyone there, there is. Really is and what i like about it as well Gary and I, we've known each other for years. Yeah. And I, you know, I trust you. And I know that Thank our you. viewers trust you because what you say absolutely stands. If it's a genuine one, it's numbered. Mm. It is. You don't need to look any further. Well, the other thing as well is a lot of the, when we bring you signed items, we have some personally signed, so don't go far away. You're going to, no. yeah, they're going to make your mouth water. But when we talk about signed items, all of the signed items, when we say they're signed, Unless we tell you different, they're personally signed. That means they're not printed, they're not facsimile. We guarantee, they're not funny pens. We guarantee 100% that that particular person has held it in their hand and personally signed it. And that is your proof. And you have the backing of AFTAL, A-F-T-A-L. Have a little Google, see the name. That name is, again, is considered the most authentic and the yeah. most respected autograph dealers trade association in the world. So you get the paperwork with their name or with a certificate of authenticity and you even get a lifetime guarantee. Oh, so you can't great. go wrong. You don't even get that from the major high street auction. No, houses. not at so, all. You know, and they authenticate for the police, the trading standards and people like that. Mm. So the, the provenance is totally, absolutely of top level. I think you're going to start me collecting now, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> my husband indeed. will kill me. <laughs> Nothing more than that. Yeah. Anyway, she's what got room. What have we got next? Yeah, moving on. Now, this is something, as we said, going into the unique, the rare. This is exactly what we've got here. Because nestled in the middle there, you'll see something totally unique. A, a very, very, very rare item. What this actually is, is a personal Christmas card selected and sent by the Queen, as you can see, in 1974, to either one of their personal friends or family. So this is the actual Christmas card that the Queen and Philip sent in yeah. 1974 to whoever was on their Christmas card oh, list, wow. whether it be dignitaries, whether it be, um, you know, as I say, dignitaries, or whether it be personal family or friends, yeah. whatever. That is the original Christmas card, and that is personally signed by the Queen, Gosh. And personally signed by Philip, and of course you see the Queen's added the year in her writing, 1974. Yeah. Oh. It will actually come this as well. It will. It's not there, but it will actually come framed and mounted for you. We only received this in the studio literally yesterday morning, but when you actually get this, it will come framed and mounted right. with, as I said, the certificate, the lifetime guarantee, yeah. and everything you know to that, that is 100% genuine. So do you get the front of the Christmas card or the inside of the Christmas yeah, card? Yeah, it's what actually it complete. Like? If I pick it up, can we, if I pick this up a moment, um, as you'll see, right. and we look at it, you see, oh, there, right. there it is, the complete card. Oh, that's That's fun. the outside, and it is complete. So you see the outside with the royal crest. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll get one over our door one day. Then, oh. mate, yeah. <laughs> I usually get two fingers over my door. I'm not sure what that means. The neighbour puts that there. Anyway, then we open it up. There's the photograph, particular photograph that was selected for this card. We have a different one every yeah. year. And then on, on here, we have the greetings part of it. I'm not going to touch it with the actual genuine hand-signed signature 
of our own Queen Elizabeth II and yes. also Prince Philip and the date there 1974 and if you shut it up again like that yeah. there it is the complete untouched card can I touch it? My hands are yeah. immaculate and wonderful. And yeah. it is it's it totally unique. I mean, the number for that is 300, wow. 345. Obviously, it's a considered purchase because it's an extremely rare, extremely rare and highly collectible item. Worldwide collectors almost want to walk across the water to get their hands. And on you can see like as that. well, just mm. sort of, I, I like the detail. This, this wonderful photograph here. Yeah. Um, it's it's the photograph it's not a print what mm. they've done i mean nowadays they do everything uh, printed if i'm just running my finger here this is actually a photograph yeah. it's been taken and stuck onto this so this card i would uh, say is, is handmade yeah and probably went to precious few people sure. what an amazing <laughs> it's, it's an amazing get hold of things when i like get this. obviously she sends me a christmas card that's oh. done for many years <laughs> <laughs> mine is yeah move mine is, it says get lost <laughs> well, but no no that. obviously it's over the years a few you know maybe a few people I'll fall off the, i could say yeah. a few people have fallen off the christmas card list i don't know yeah but basically what's happened is people start to realise how valuable those items are. Oh, gosh, so yeah. one or two fall into the hands of collectors or they go into the secondary market, they go into auctions, charity auctions. Mm. People snap them up and that's how one or two drift around. But it is an extremely rare item. Right. And where would you go to get it? I mean, all of these items, you always say you can't drive down to the local shop in Mao or the High Street. Yeah. You can't even go on the internet and buy them because no. half the time, even if you see them, you don't know they're genuine. How do you know they're genuine? You don't yeah. know, do you? Yeah. And this, you can't tell. This is you do. just a one. This is mm. one single one. Yeah. It, a, it, oh, how yeah. wonderful. We have a couple of a, a couple of other examples, but they are all one offs. Yes. So if you are unfortunate, because I accept this, I expect this will get snapped up very very quickly. But do still ring us. Have a talk to the call centre or send a message. You know, if you go over the web, because we may have. If you leave a message for me or us, we will get in contact with you because we do have a couple of others at the disposal. But as as Debbie said, yeah. they're one offs. Once they're gone, that's it. These will end up in collections. A lot of them are in museums. That's where they are. Yes. So yeah. they are extremely rare. But that's a great gift oh I, I think it's amazing and, and I think the price of it as well considering for what it is mm. um, it, it it's all relative if you if you've got loads of money or if you've got money and you like to spend it this is just the most marvelous piece of history it certainly is you can't yeah. go wrong can you so we're going to have a look now now yeah we're staying Charles. in the same format this is of course is again personally signed this again is a particular what, what really rare this is a a Christmas card belonging that was or belonging that was sent by Prince Charles and Princess Diana at the time obviously they're married. Yeah. And Diana has actually signed that. That is in Diana's handwriting. And as you can see there they are with the the boys and it actually says from all all four of us, doesn't all it? All four of us I yeah. think. Is it? And then each one of them, that is Diana's personal signature there. Yeah. And as you can see Charles has then added his signature as yeah. well in yeah. a different handwriting. So again, same format, it's a personal Christmas card, an original and complete Christmas card that they have selected and sent to their family their own family and friend very 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 rare and again extremely valuable both as a collectible as a unique item people yeah. worldwide love to get their hands on that well Princess Diana is still an icon and she's mm. being brought now more and more into the public eye yeah simply because the time is coming for Harry and the time has has been um, when mm. William got married um, that Diana would have loved, obviously, to see her sons married happily to, mm. to women that are great, and Meghan Markle, who's going to absolutely bring a real sparkle. Um, I, I think that th there's a resurgence in the interest yeah. of Princess Diana. It's never really gone away, but she's been brought back into the... Yeah. into the frame. I mean, she touched the hearts of millions. I mean, oh, I've yeah. mentioned it sometimes. I was actually in Holland filming what she went the day she, we heard of her death. Oh, right. And I thought it was some sort of weird, uh, you know, yeah, I thought, of yeah. spoof or yes, something. Yes, I, I admit we had one, one or two sherbets the night before, which is yeah. unusual for me, of course, as a highly tuned athlete. But it was, <laughs> it was, it was just like everywhere we went, 
you know, it's people obviously from all over the world, and because we had a, a a Union Jack on the camera, and yeah. everybody kept saying, "Oh my God," you know, yeah. whether it be Japanese, yeah. German, Russian, yes. Dutch, didn't matter. And we were like, we couldn't do any work. Yeah. In the end, we were just like a focal point. Oh, it's an English crew. Yeah. Everybody wanted to talk to us, and it started to hit me about how much, how many hearts of how many millions she really did touch yeah. and just people coming up going oh my god you know yeah. how awful it's funny it was... people do remember the day that, that she she died the day that she she was killed um i remember for the whole day mm. i i stayed in bed and our daughter ruth at the time was three i think she was and we both just sat and I was actually crying and I'm not soft about things like that. I mean, when Elvis died, yeah. I don't know, I can't even remember how old I was. I was, I was, I think I was in the Isle of Man with someone. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. There's, there's, a, there, there's then. another there's story. There's a story, but, we get that one, yeah. <laughs> My parents were there as well. <laughs> All right, but, okay. Uh, that, I just thought, oh, that's a shame. But with Diana, it was just so, it was so a bubbled out of the blue, mm. totally well. unexpected. And to have a piece of her history here is just brilliant. And really. again, this will come framed and mounted. It isn't now, but it will come framed and mounted with a complete piece. It won't be tough. It'll be kept complete. So you can frame that up, hang it on your wall, and people are just going to drool, aren't they? Yeah. Obviously, it is so rare. It's a little, it's more expensive, this one. It's 2,995, but it does come framed and everything ready to hang on your wall. The number, 30346. Mm -hmm. Again, it, this is a one-of. We do have access, I think, to at least one other one, but once they're gone, never ever can they be replaced no that's it and that was um that i can't quite see them on the ship from here mm. it's the two boys is it yeah it's the two and boys and yeah. you've got the, the actual hand signed signatures mm. personal signed signatures of both charles and of diana oh, that's as you great. can see you there can that's see uh, yeah you can see that yeah. better now and that marked an era of a new kind of casual photos yeah. that Diana loved so much herself. Mm. She used to take photographs herself. I mean, she could have even taken that one. You yeah, don't know. and she was a very, very prolific letter writer. Over the years, it's become mm. very apparent that she obviously, you know, again, there's it's delicate subjects, but whether it be through frustration, through love, through hope, she expressed all of her thoughts in in letter form. Yeah. She expressed lots and lots of... She was a prolific letter writer. Absolutely. So, well, really if you good. would like that, don't forget, give us a call. The number is on the screen now. You can go to www.benhamtv, and that's B-E-N-H-A-M-T-V. You can email us, info at benhamtv, and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter because there's some great stuff there. Now, we're going to... Continue, well, we're staying with the, we? the, yeah, the Diana oh, theme. Now, this, to this me, is, is probably one, one, if not the most exciting Diana piece I've ever seen. I have seen some. I've, I've seen some at auction, something very similar to this in auction about about nine months ago when I was there. went for over £6,000. Wow. I can tell you where. I can tell you when you check it out. But this is so unique. Basically, what you've got is a, a commemorative photo montage to Diana, the life of Diana, as you can see through the sad, the, the happy and the sad times of her life, sadly at the time of the flowers, but it measures her life. So this is a homage to the lady herself. And where you can see there the Diana signature, that is actually the, fr the, the front. She's personally signed that. But on the back, maybe we'll turn it round in a minute and just show you. On the back is the front of that. It's a complete greetings card. Oh, right. That she's selected and sent to her own friend. Oh. So it's actually got the front and the back. It's got glass on the front and the back. So we'll, we'll turn that round for you in a little while. But you can see the photographs. That's her hand-signed signature. And in a minute, we'll have a look at the back. But it's a beautiful piece. It's a work of art. That and it's something lovely. that's irreplaceable. Yeah. And I believe it's extremely competitively priced for something so rare. Not it is, it's the only one there is, mm. you know. And it comes with the... Um, you've got the envelope and everything that goes with it. And it's all hand-signed oh, isn't that great? by so Diana. That, yeah. And... Oh, it's, I mean, it sounds terrible. It's probably got a DNA on it on that envelope. I think yeah, it's amazing. Probably it's has. It's really, really. So as you can good. see, nothing clever about it. But there's the detail. That is the other side of the greetings card that she sent. I wonder said. who Janet was. Yeah. Look, it says here. Yeah, Janet. Janet. There. Yeah. Um, Lots of love. That's my name on Thursdays, Debbie. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no, I was kidding. Yeah, yeah. And lots of yeah. love from one of something of us. Diana, oh, that's just great. How yeah, we've got to love from 
Oh, the four of us. The four of us. Yeah, I can't read it from this angle. Yeah. I'm looking to the left slightly yeah, slide. Yeah. Have a look at it. And it's the, yeah. so you've got the original and complete card. Yeah. Obviously, there's nothing clever about it, but we've kept it complete in in there for you. So you've got the you can see the front and the back of the actual item. But it's totally unique. It yeah. really is, oh, and it's extremely wonderful. valuable. In my opinion, that's something that is very hard to say. It, but the way the demand for Diana and the rarity, you know, he's rare and exclusive items like this I honestly believe that over the years that could well increase considerably in value obviously can't guarantee that please don't buy it on speculation no. just buy it because whoever you buy it for whether you're gonna hang it they're gonna love it oh, it is will. fabulous item. yeah it's just wonderful and the bit on this that does it for me that is still always has been always will be said in my brain if you want Simon to have a look see there mm. when just over to, to my left here when she passed away uh, there you go that was it just said mummy and mm. i was sort of holding it together and watching and then when i saw those two little figures and that you know harry and william and that with mummy i thought it's just it, it was well, just heartbreaking wasn't it yeah 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 it oh. was um whatever way you look at it it was a tragic a deep deep tragedy and she was a woman who as you say completely reinvented if you like a, a, a perception I think of our own yeah. sort of royalty and everything yes, absolutely. and you she know was human she, yeah she you know she did a lot she yeah. touched the heart of a lot of people for lots of reasons didn't she I know she oh, did a lot yeah. of work with the AIDS Foundation and a lot of work for the mines, mines all that yeah. she was amazing but uh, again you know we have the traditional side of all of this as well but that lady Lady really is highly revered yeah. worldwide, and that is your opportunity to and own look something. At the difference it's a of true, her. true rarity. From here, when she got married, she's still pretty, fresh-faced, mm. lovely girl. And then you look over here, and she's turned glossy into, you know, the cover of a magazine. She yeah. just looked amazing. She was a clothes horse. She was so fashionable, so stylish. Yeah. And the, but I think the best thing she was was being a mother. I think she was a fabulous mother. I think she was wonderful for her boys, and you can tell that with the legacy of these mm. two gorgeous young men yeah. that she's she's left. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I've had the honour of meeting both of them at different times, and they're very, mm. very um, down to earth. They're lovely, and, aren't and I mean they, that in yeah. a complimentary way. Oh, you know? yeah, but don't miss out on that. We've got loads to show you. We better move on. Yeah. If you want that little special piece of history, or you know someone who does, maybe you want to put it in a boardroom or pride of place in your drawing room at home, wherever you hang it, that is a true piece of amazing British legacy royalty, whatever you want to call it, to a lady that's loved and revered by the entire world. And Absolutely. it has a personal general signature. Yeah. She selected the card and it's all there. Completely. Well, we're going now from this that amazing piece, which, um, you know, obviously it, it's not one of the, the, the lesser price pieces. It's just, uh, just over £4,000. But yeah. we're going now to another really great, very, very affordable piece. I used to love Prince William, but I have to say, I find Prince Harry a bit more fanciable now. I don't know what it is. Don't know whether it's the lack of hair. He's a lovely it's man. Lack of hair, I'm out of it now. Though. Oh, oh no, yeah, they, they, it, they, yeah. they all get an egg in the nest eventually, don't they? <laughs> Let's take a look at this one now. This is uh, Prince William's 21st birthday commemoration. Mm. It's a framed celebration cover. Now look at that. This yeah, is to mark his uh, his 21st, 21st birthday. birthday. Basically, that image of Charles and, and Diana there. That is the first occasion that he would have been seen as a baby when. He came yes. out of the hospital in, yeah. in Diana's arms. And then you've got those four postage stamps. They were the f four selected official postage stamps yeah. of William celebrating his 21st birthday. And the actual, so they're genuine British postage stamps with the image. That actual image of Charles and Day is actually a silk image. Oh, right. That they embed into the cover and they put the gold leaf edging around it and then it's framed up. Wow. It's a beautiful item. It's it a great is. way of celebrating, obviously, our future king. And what an incredible price, 1995. Mm. And I love those pictures of Prince William. He is such a handsome 
handsome boy. He really he, he, he certainly he was is. gorgeous. And yeah. he looks so much like Diana. Absolute image of Diana. Yeah. He really does. Yeah, no it's a great mind. image. I suppose we better move on because there's so much to show you. We're yeah. so taking all these special ones. Well, don't forget the uh, phone number is on the screen as well, or you can email us info at Benham. Dot TV and that one is only nineteen ninety five. Great price, great really great is. price. Great. And we um, don't have that many of any of those. So once they're gone, that is it. You won't see yep. them ever again. Once it's gone, and alongside, it's gone. of course, is his his son. Yeah. There, Prince George. That obviously is offered unframed, but that again is a first uh, first day cover. In other words, that's the day the postage stamps were issued. That is the first day of issue, and you've got the stamp there. Similar story, you know, his mother and father yeah. bringing the baby out of the hospital, and then an image of him there, as you can see, on the actual postage stamp. Yeah. Once again, that larger image is actually a silk image of Prince George embossed into the cover. Beautiful item. It's lovely. And I, there's only I, 500 of them ever produced. And look at that price, under a tenner, under, mm. under £10. And he's wearing, which has always been synonymous with royalty and babies, the smocked top, the lovely smocking yeah. little outfit. A be beautiful, bonny little boy, he really is. Yeah. I used to wear a smock top, but I stopped <laughs> Stop wearing them last year. You know, <laughs> so, you know. Can you imagine it? No, no, no. Not, <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, no, no. That's B list. Oh, yeah, look at him it. there. Look, at gorgeous little boy. He really, really is. Yeah, and is. if you would like that, I mean, you know, it's a cracking price. It really is. If you maybe, um, you know, you've got a relative who was born the same year or even the same birthday, what a great little thing to just put, put there so that one day maybe... You know, if they're getting married or whatever, you can say, look at this, I've got this for you. Yeah. Just a nice, nice little um, reminder uh, for under £10. A great way for you to start your collecting of the royal family. If you've never thought about it before now, for under £10, entry level, really, really good. Can't go wrong. Yeah. And then um, alongside you there, Deb, that's something very different. Is, what you actually it? see is a framed print. It's a limited edition of only 850 in the world they're all numbered individually as you can see the one we've got there is what 512 so you won't get yep. that one because we've got that just there but, 512 but, yeah, out of 850 it's a numbered limited edition print uh, of a painting that was done of uh, William and Kate there and it is signed over in the opposite corner of the bottom my bottom left hand corner actually signed by the artist himself so it's yeah. a li numbered limited edition is. print something very different again framed and mounted ready to just hang on your wall and uh, the number for that is 300 350 and the price for that is 49 pounds 95 it's nice and remember there's only 850 in the world it's so very good different. indeed and it's beautifully executed as well it's mm. really really captured them because sometimes you don't actually capture what people look like no. in a painting. You know, it can all go horribly wrong. Like that footballer who had a sculpture named after him, and it, it looked like oh. a, Paul. It looked like Ken Dodd. It didn't look like the footballer at all. It's terrible. <laughs> anyway, let's move sw yeah, swiftly on. on. Now, and then we, this one. Yeah, this one. This particular one now is celebrating Queen Elizabeth II, obviously our current queen. This is actually celebrating her 90th birthday. And again, as you can see, like we did on some of the previous ones, these are official Great Britain postage stamps there. And you have like that montage. Shall I lean that forward? Oh, that's no, right now. You have like a montage of those great images of her. They're all photographic images actually produced onto genuine Royal Mail British postage stamps. And that lovely seal. It's next beautiful, to all isn't of it? Them. Yeah, yeah. So it just gives it a nice effect, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But you could, in effect, if you wanted to take each one of them off, cut them up and put them on a lesson, you wouldn't do that because no, it's been made be as a, a collector's yes. souvenir item. Yeah. But they are official postage stamps. Yeah. I think the Queen was and still is at 90. Well, like my, my mum, she's pretty. 93, but she's still a pretty lady. Yeah. And the Queen has always been very, very attractive. She's a lovely lady. I she agree. really is. It, it's like my old man, you know, my dad. You know, yeah. God, he's, he's still alive. I mean, he's 94 yeah. this year. Yeah. But what really annoys me, you know what it's like? He's got a full head of hair. Oh. <laughs> and he really pees me off. You know, you think, how do you get all that hair? You know? <laughs> and I, I started wondering, I started getting suspicious. God rest my old mum's soul. But she was a, a good 
you know, well-bred religious lady. Yeah. But I started reading like, the window cleaner. Always you say, "Happy, how are you doing, son?" <laughs> he looks a little bit like me, you know. I'm beginning to wonder because my old man, 94, has got yeah. a full head of hair. I can't yeah. work that one well, out. Well, it's anyway. because you, it's because you're sexy and you've got all that testosterone. Oh, is that what? all the testosterone <laughs> forcing the hair out your head? That's what I've always told women. <laughs> and Occasionally, one in a million believe. I was going to say knows, that's our yeah. story. So this particular one. Uh, the item number, the product number is 351-300-351. And it really is great. And a super, super price, 44 99 plus your PMP. You can ring us with the number on the screen. Yeah. You can go via the website. Give us a call. Yeah, <laughs> website, www.benham.tv. Loads of goodies, wherever you're looking for. And you can see all the different collectible programmes that have been made under Benham TV. Yeah. Just go on there 24 hours a day worldwide and select the programmes you want to watch when you want to watch them, so yeah. great item. Now this one also is a similar format, yeah. but this is actually to, to this particular one was brought and produced in honour of the 60th anniversary of the Queen uh, of the Queen Elizabeth again in the, on the on the coronation. So it's the 60th anniversary of the actual coronation, and again all those great postage stamps, their photographic images of our Queen reproduced onto genuine British postage stamps. Yeah. It, it's a great great item. It really well, only is. Only a thousand of these aren't they? have ever produced yeah, yeah, only in the a world thousand. that is as yeah. well, and we don't have anywhere near a thousand. We have the last few that are left. Once they're gone, that is it. But again, ready to. Just just take out yeah. and hang on your favourite And book. that one, uh, 57 99 but again, if you are, you know, if you're a bulk buyer, if you're looking for things that go together well, that does go particularly well with the previous items so that you would have, you could have them side by side, one celebrating her 90th birthday and one celebrating her 60th anniversary of the coronation they're very very nicely done indeed yeah. beautiful quality these whoever makes them and frames them and the artist mm. that actually or the graphic designer that takes the images and puts them together they are very tastefully yeah. and what's done. interesting to know is every one of these postage stamps are actually selected by the royal family themselves oh right the ultimate oh. decision for what goes on those stamps goes to the queen yeah. So every one of these has full, you could say, a royal approval. They really do. That's how it goes. They take the various images to Her Majesty. Yeah. She decides with her advisors, and they decide what images they use. Right. So they are really very much part of yeah. our royal family. And, yeah. and they are, when you're looking at that now, a wonderful, wonderful price. Mm. Just uh, fifty-seven ninety-nine. Can't go wrong. And only a thousand in the world. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're going to move on now. Well, we're moving on to oh. somebody else, of course. Sadly, no longer with us. But this is a wonderful homage. Again, if you're building a collection. This, of course, honours uh, Earl Mountbatten of Burma. <coughs> and as you can see there, it's a great photographic image with the, the uh, like a biography there mm. at the top in the corner. And then those great five in photographic images of him. And then in the middle is his genuine personal signature. Yeah. Beautifully put together. Again, if you're doing a charity auction or somewhere like that, you know, some of the sort of event, that is something that will get snapped up immediately. This would. This it is, is a beautiful he's, item. He is quite, he is iconic. Mm. Um, and a lot of sort of common opinion is about Mountbatten that Prince Charles almost treated him like a father you know yeah. he, he just he loved him and uh, you know he was he was the most amazing man he was born in 1900 so well. you know you ca I can't believe when he was uh, murdered it was uh, 1979 it's amazing. when his boat was blown up yeah. that only seems sort of like 10 15 years ago to me but yeah. it wasn't you know but that what a this is beautifully beautifully done the frame, by the way, these things count. It's a curved frame. Yeah. And, and this would be wonderful for a charity auction. Absolutely It'd be fantastic. superb. And again, if you're looking for something like some of the earlier pieces, of, you know, pride of place in a boardroom, maybe a drawing room or collection, something really, really fabulous, that is exactly what that yeah. is. And remember, that is his genuine signature. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. It comes with a lifetime guarantee. But most importantly, it comes with the name of Aftal, A-F-T-A-L. Yeah. Google it if you've just joined us and you'll see that they're probably the most respected autograph 
dealer trade association in the world. You can't go wrong. Mm. Takes away all those doubts. Yeah, yeah, anyway, absolutely. It's, it's 100% guaranteed that has been signed by Mountbatten of Burma. Oh. And you'll never get it again, but a great, great item. Do you know that his father was the first ever sea lord? At the outbreak of the oh, uh, right. the war, World War One, yeah. but obviously you know there was anti-German feeling, and he and he resigned, oh, and, wow. and they actually changed their name from Battenberg, yeah, to the sort of less Germanic-sounding oh, right. Mount Batten. It's as you can probably tell by my waist, that was a cake as well, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, badly brought up. Oh yeah, well, that that I love that. I think that's a really beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, um, certainly is commemoration of, of a of a great man. And there's the number there on the screen, 300 353. Fabulous piece, a total piece of unique and rare and exclusive royalty history. £985.95. With a personal to, signature. Yeah. That signature, it's real. It's the mm. real deal. It's his hand, his pen, his ink. It is a true piece of history look and, at that and Absolutely if you give us wonderful. a call to the call center or you send an email or something we can actually we do have some examples of how we can do special payments on some of these high-end very rare pieces mm. so do give us a call or send us an email if you want to send an email you can say it's info at bedham.tv and it'll make its way to here and we'll get back to you with an idea what we can come up with that so you don't need to miss out yeah but if you want something unique get in there quick don't miss out because these you'll probably never see them again yeah and if you're a society that collects something or other mm. and you would like us to look at maybe doing a, a show featuring your particular area of collectibles, get in touch with us, email us because yeah. he can find anything. Yeah. It's wonderful. Don't you look like blood out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do now? Now this next one, as you can see, this is something very unique. What it actually is, this is it's called a Princess Diana mosaic. What it actually is, is a series of well, millions, thousands and thousands and thousands of flowers that sort of collectively come together in a montage image yes. of Diana. Beautiful. And as you can see, it's beautifully yeah. put together. It's a limited edition. It's very, very, very few of these left. But it's a great way, I think, to remember someone like Diana. Very affordable. But you can see all those different little flowered images make, make up the, the larger montage mosaic of Diana's face. And I think it's a very rare, very different image. But we don't it's have lovely. many of them. No, so get on the phone all. quick for I that. And look at that, really just £29.95. 29 and it's pretty as well. It, it really is. a lot of different types of uh, rooms. Yep. And okay. then we move on to the, uh, the next one. I think we've got the uh, Queen Elizabeth 75th anniversary cover there which uh, is again something very very special and as you can see that actually comes complete with the um, this particular one comes complete uh, with the uh, signature of Lady Mountbatten it's Lady Mountbatten we uh, that that uh, yeah it's beautiful and it, it's the Gibraltar 75th anniversary celebration coin set cover isn't it yeah the um, We've, yeah, it's the Gibraltar uh, anniversary celebration coin set cover, but I believe we've got so few of them, I won't remain on that. We'll move on because we've got so few of those, literally just a bare handful. If you want that, do get in quick. The number for that is 300, 355, but that, of course, £15.99. Let's switch to the next one because I know there's such a handful of those yeah. that we're going to miss out if you don't. Yeah. The uh, Next, we have the other one on the other side there. That's something very different again. That is a cover, but that is signed by Lady. Lady Mountbatten of Burma. Yeah. Again, very different, something just different. We're trying to bring you different signatures. The number 30356, but it's a seventh Queen Elizabeth 75th anniversary mm. celebration cover. Again, it's a first day cover, but it, this one that's different, it carries the signature. And look at that, of for Lady under £25, pounds, the, original, the original signature up there. It is absolutely super. I love all of these. Do you know what? These are. These are so iconic the, the the things that you're seeing i think it's beautiful really really it lovely. is it's very very different isn't yeah. it so you queen can't, elizabeth the um, second 75th anniversary it was a celebration cover and that has been signed by lady mountbatten who like lord mountbatten just so incredibly incredibly important to the royal family 
making faces there at the camera. Sorry, call me. Didn't <laughs> they? Sorry, <laughs> they're trying to show me with my no hair. Not yeah. fair. But yeah, it, it is. As you say, it's a great image. But if you don't know what a first day cover is, what that actually means is when the stamps are issued yeah. for the first time, that on the on that day they issue what they call a special commemorative yeah. envelope cover, whatever you want to see it. And that's what this is. And obviously, it's been signed as to give it added credibility or added collectability mm. by a Mount, Lady Mountbatten of Burma. Yeah. It's a lovely touch, but it's very, very affordable. And again, very, very few left. But again, if you're building a collection, it looks great, really does. Oh. And uh, I suppose we better move on. As you can see, there's a poster well, stamp there yes, for Queen. that's lovely. Moving on again, this time we move over to... Um, this is something I talk about, collectability. Gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> it's a monster, isn't it? It's Absolutely. Wonderful. That's one about me. I don't know what you said. The only place you'd normally see that, I would say, is in a museum yeah. or somewhere like... Or, or in a town you know, hall entrance or yeah, somewhere. Yeah, or somewhere like Antico Palace yes, or somewhere like yeah. that. What it actually is, as you can see, it's a complete montage. Maybe if we pan around some of those photographs, we can pick out some of the magic moments. Well, this yeah, is this is just honor. super, isn't it? Yeah, it honours Queen Victoria, yeah. who until recently was the longest reigning monarch ever in British history. 64 years. Yeah. I researched it. I went mad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's amazing. Um, born in uh, 1819, uh, Alexandrina Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of yeah. Great Britain and Ireland. And then a little bit later, she got the title of Empress of India yeah. as well. Which she says up the top yeah, of here, actually, that's as well. It. You can probably see that yeah. up the top. Beautifully there, put together. She's got the Empress of India. Let's cut to the now, chase what, as well with yeah, the signature. Now, the real coup de grace, it's a beautiful piece, and it is massive. Mahoosif yeah. is the actual <laughs> word. Mahoosif, isn't it? Massive. Yeah. But the, the real coup de grace on this one, that's a bit of French. You said apparently. that very well, actually. Coup de grace, yeah. madame. Mademoiselle, Ooh. this is this here. I'm not even going to uh, not touch it, but this here is the actual personal signature of Queen Victoria on an original piece of parchment. Now, you, if you're very observant, I don't know how close we can go to that because it's very old, etc. But if you actually look at that, you'll probably see that doesn't say Victoria. Right. It actually says affectionately, and that is how Queen Victoria signed her name. She was renowned. She was signed as name affectionately. She wouldn't put Victoria. Really? Yeah. So uh -huh. that is that is says affectionately, but it's personally signed by Queen Victoria on an original piece of parchment. So it's, it's not, not even a copy. Paper. It's proper it's parchment. It's actual parchment. Yeah. And it's not a copy. It's not a facsimile. <laughs> She's guaranteed, with all the paperwork and the provenance you get, we guarantee that she signed that for you. So it is totally, totally unique. Look, I'm all excited. Um, second row up, third from the right. She's on yeah. a horse there. This one. Now, do you remember that film about her with Judy Dench and Billy Connolly? What was it called? Can anyone in the studio I don't remember? Know. Oh, I it's a remember. fabulous no. film because evidently her. I don't know whether they, they called him her gilly. You know, the people that oh, yeah, look yeah. after the fishing and everything. In Scotland. Oh, um, yeah, I remember yeah, the one you mean. There's yeah, there's a yeah. film, and Judy Dench played Victoria, and um, Billy Connolly played the gilly. The gilly, or the, or the yeah. One. It was an amazing film. And yeah. the, the suits, the establishment, didn't like him because he had too much influence over her. Oh, right. You know, he, okay. would, he encouraged her to be her own woman yeah. and to actually do what she wanted to do. Wow. But it's just brilliant. And that but photograph looks just like a still from the film. It. Yeah. It's fabulous. But look at it. Oh, it is absolutely massive. I mean, to frame that, I would think, probably cost you, I don't know, I don't know how much that would cost, 250 300 pounds. Yeah, because obviously. everything, it's massive. everything it's is mounted, mounted individually. Inside. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a beautiful item. Yeah. But this is the real key, this piece here which is completely unique. You'd normally only see something like that in the British Museum, the V&A or somewhere yeah. like that. Because that is actually the signature of Queen Victoria onto a piece of genuine parchment. Mm. So rare, it is incredibly rare. I've never, ever seen it before, and I doubt we'll ever see it again. I know. Well, That's she's, how rare it there's, is. There's, uh, I don't know whether they're her children at the bottom. I can't see from here. But, but when she married her uh, first cousin, Prince Albert, um, she had nine children, you know, wow. which, which in itself was amazing in those days because so many children were lost in childbirth, mm. you know. But she had nine children, 
and um, she became known as the grandmother of Europe. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you don't think of her like that. But no. you, you think of her as never doing anything like that. Yeah. Because she was so high standards of personal morality. You would think she would never even share a bed with her husband, you know. Well, obviously, she absolutely adored him. Um, but uh, I think she was a fascinating, fascinating woman. She certainly was. And as I said, that is just so incredibly rare. It's a totally unique incredible piece of royalty memorabilia. I mean, I've never seen anything like it, and I doubt I ever will again. Obviously, it's a considered purchase, but when you think what items go for, again, in the right environment, it wouldn't surprise me if I had to value that for one of the collectible shows yeah. on the TV. I don't, I don't know what you put on it, because if you said it's 10 grand, 20 grand, five grand, it wouldn't matter, because that could go for anything. I know, because it's, it's a real signature, And it's on parchment. Which is lovely. It's amazing. And it is. That, I think it is an incredible, an extremely rare, one-off piece of royalty that you'll never see again. Can I just Have ask you to, to, to just make clear again, because I think this is super. And if I've got it wrong, I apologise and I shall eat my script. Now, you were saying if people wanted to buy one of the more considered um, purchases mm. that are over a thousand pound. Do Benham do sort of, I don't want to call it deals, yeah. but you can pay over a couple of months or whatever? Yeah, there is a procedure. At the time we recorded this, because we, uh, you know, the scheduling, we have to get these in advance, it wasn't quite set up. But when you, th if you see that and you particularly want one of these items, mm. if you give us a call or send us an email, leave a message for me or one of the people from Benham, we'll get back to you. But we do have the facility that you can buy some of these special items over a period of months. So you don't need to miss out. But obviously we realise they're considered purchases as well. So they do do everything mm. they can to help you get those dreams and put them on your wall. Oh, and I like that. about dreams again. <laughs> Back to the lady. Oh, love it. Love it. Yeah. Back to the Queen Mum. This one again is a great item. It's it's a fabulous item. It's 300 482. But it's again a terrific montage there of the Queen Mother. Great photographic montage. Mm. And in the middle there is her personal signature. There again. And that again has come from a Christmas card in what's that, 1981. It is and 1981. And again, personally signed by the lady yeah. herself. It's wonderful. Fabulous item. Extremely rare, it really is. And it's a great price, £1,150. Yeah. Terrific price. Superb. And I love, she's wearing my favourite hat at the bottom. Um, she's got one in blue, she had about three, all the same style. Yeah. One in blue, one in daffodil yellow and one in a turquoise. And she's got the turquoise and the daffodil yellow here. Yeah, yeah it's great. It's brilliant, isn't it? So she? remember, Super. all of these items, do have a little look at a little, a little look and all, oh, at, that, <laughs> at that Benham website, www.benham.tv. Give us a call, the phone number there on your screen. And, and do follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Have a look on YouTube, places like that. You'll see lots about us. But most importantly, if you are, maybe you've got friends and relatives abroad, wherever they yeah. live, anywhere yeah. in the world, all you've got to do is tell them that website address, www.benham.tv. Go on there, you'll see all the shows that are recorded and all the items for sale. But more importantly, you can watch them and on demand, on your select, you select what shows you want to watch and when you want to watch them anywhere in the world. But don't miss out on these high ticket, these rarities, because once they're gone, we can never bring them back. And the great thing about Benham TV is that Gaz is incredibly, you know, contactable. He's at the end here of the email and what have you. And if you want to know anything about it, just email us mm. and you will be answered. Yep, for sure. Really good.
Okay, well, I've enjoyed this out. This has been absolutely super. Yeah, it's flown by, hasn't it's it? It's been wonderful, and I've seen some incredible bargains that I didn't think were possible. No. So, from Gaz and myself, until next time. See you soon. See you. Bye bye. great to know that you are looking at Benham TV. Now, this is a really great channel because we look at fantastic collectibles, but with a bit of fun as well. I'm normally with my really good friend, Gary Ashburn, Gaza, and we've done all sorts. We've had a look at the RAF Centenary. We've had a look at stars of the silver screen, all sorts of things. So don't forget, keep it here. It's a wonderful channel and you'll really enjoy our collectibles. Thank you.